Hey y'all, Double H Crossing back again. Today being Saturday, uh, you know I like to do things sometimes a little different on the weekend. This one isn't a uh, yarn, it's a uh, how-to video on how to change the uh, filter on your infrared heater. But uh, you know me, I'll chuck some comedy in there when I can. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, and to update people on last weekend's project, the uh, air fryer fix. Uh, it's been a week now. Uh, I, from where you last seen it, I I did end up having to sand down uh, the piece that I glued on and and to fit it so it would slide in and out easily. That's what she said. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. So I. I uh, spun that down and uh, it works uh, works fine. We've been used, uh, we've used it probably a few times now this week, and the heat doesn't seem to be an issue. The glue's holding up, and uh, it's working the same way as it always did. So I guess uh, my little DIY project worked out pretty well. So anyway. Uh, the next time you'll see me, I'll have a wardrobe change because this is footage I shot uh, just this morning to intro the video and give you the update on that uh, fix. So uh, the next footage you'll see, I'll be wearing a tank top, I think, and uh, that'll be from when I shot this original footage. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. I know it's not. Uh, the funny ones that everybody usually tunes in for but uh, I hope you can enjoy this too all right craftsman out for now today it's gonna be another little uh, like a handyman video uh, I'm gonna be changing out not changing out but removing the filter in the back of my infrared heater because it's warm enough shut it off today and uh, we got electric heat in our house but we use that we only have two baseboard heaters in the whole place one up here in the living room one down the hallway and we use uh, electric uh, infrared heater as backup when it's colder so anyway uh, what the video is going to be about today I'm going to shoot some footage of how to take the back off it and clean out the filter and uh, Probably anybody that owns one of these knows how to do it, but uh, if there is anybody out there that uh, watches my videos and don't know how to do it, uh, this will be a tutorial, I guess. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get that up here on my uh, workstation and uh, take some footage of how to do it. And uh, hopefully this video helps some people out if you don't know how to do this all right craftsman out for now I'll get this up on my workstation here and then I'll uh, take some shots of how to do it now this is the uh, infrared heater sorry about the unbalanced shot here but anyway I uh, guess a lot of people probably know what an infrared heater is but if you turn it around here On the back, we have, I don't know how well you can tell by the picture, but the filter's inside of here, and all you need is a, a Phillips screwdriver. There's the screw right there, and what you do is you loosen up the screw, and then uh, this hauls out, and then you pull it down a bit, and it'll lean forward on... Uh, a couple of wires that's in there you don't want to pull them out make sure you don't pull it out far enough to pull them out and then the filter will slide out of the top and uh, I'll get my wife to take that and and clean it out she she does a real good job cleaning it out I don't know her secret but anyway she does it <laughs> and then I just insert it back in put this back together and uh, 
Yeah, Bob's your uncle. All right. Uh, as I said, all you got to do is get your Phillips head dry screwdriver and just take the screw out here. It's on wheels so it dances around a bit sometimes, but. And we just turn this out till the screw comes out. And these this screwdriver got some nice it's a magnetic head so it's you don't drop your screw as easy. And then all you do, there's a couple of little couple of little finger holes up here, you just pop that up, slide it down. And there's the two wires I told you about. Be careful not to disconnect them. And the filter is right here. You just haul that out. Whoo! See the dust fly out? And it's pretty dusty because it's been pretty cold this winter. I don't know if you can see that good. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to get my wife now to, to stop filming and uh, take this and do her thing and and uh, clean it out and then I'll uh, take the duster while she's doing that clean out any dust that's sitting around inside you can see here that there's some dust collected here and I'll look inside the machine and make sure there's no dust collected up inside and I'll, and I'll turn around and do the front but anyway yeah that's basically it so anyway I'm going to stop the footage for now and get this cleaned up and then I'll show putting it back together, basically doing what we just done in reverse, no problems. So. Okay, I'm back here. I, uh, this little thing hanging is just what I start and stop my video with. It come with my little tripod that I bought off Amazon. And uh, look at the nice job my wife did on cleaning the filter here. Beautiful job. And we just slide our filter back in where it came out of. And make sure we put this top part up first up underneath of the lip click that into place replace our screw screw that back in tighten till you see sparks and there you go one cleaned heater nothing to it hey all HH Craftsman here if you like this video please remember to like share with all your friends and even comment it helps the channel a lot and if you'd like to become a member of the Craftsman crew doesn't cost you a cent just hit that subscribe button and remember if you can't laugh with me laugh at me but keep laughing have a nice day